welcome back. In this lesson, we are going to start blocking in the large shapes of our character. So before we do that though, um, you'll notice that this image is, is uh, being blocked by our sphere and I want to see the whole thing. So I'm going to slide it out of the way a little bit. How you do that is you go to draw and you go to front back and you'll see this horizontal offset. And I'm going to slide that just a bit to the left so I can see the whole thing. And I'm going to do the same thing with this one over here. So I'm going to go back to draw. This time we're going to hit left, right, and we're going to offset that one to the right. Okay. Now, if I snap, if I hold down shift and snap to the front, he's not being obscured by my model. Okay. Um, there's also, let's see, under, under draw, you'll have this fill mode. I like to have it on fill mode too. So the background image is lighter. Okay. In, I will include um, my other interface that has more real estate than I can show you in this video. And it's just for larger screens. And that, that user interface includes that fill mode. Uh, I bring it out here so it's easily accessible. So I will also include that for you. Um, so let's get started here. Let's zoom in on the sphere, sphere from the front. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start on this chest first, okay? So let's take a look and um, let's, let's bring it down to where this is, okay? So I'm using transpose which is W on your keyboard for move, and then you'll get this transpose line. Now what you'll want to do is you'll want to drag on the model and drag off. Now you'll see if, if you're still on the model, it's trying to snap to the surface. As soon as I drag off the model, it just snaps to the plane that my camera is looking at. And if I hold shift, it will snap to 45 degree, or I'm not sure what degrees those are, but it'll snap to certain degrees and I want it straight down. So I'm going to hold it straight down and go like that. So now, um, all these little orange circles, those are to manipulate your transpose handle and the interior circles like this red one here, this red one here, and this white one, those are to manipulate the actual object itself. Okay. And you can, you can see how it switches depending on what side I'm on. And then you'll see these little handles, these axis handles, those are so if you want to click on one, you can you can move it in the X, Y, and Z. Okay. Right now we're going to move it in the Y. And then I'm just going to hold down shift, drag this white circle and bring it on down. Okay. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to use this clip curve brush and just hit skip when that message comes up. I'm going to hit Q for draw. And I'm going to hold down shift plus control. And when I do that, you'll see this clip curve brush become active, the little button here. And then you just draw a line down and I'm holding shift still. So it's snapping just like the transpose tool did. And if I let go, it doesn't snap anymore. Okay. So now I'm going to hold, sh I'm going to hold the space bar and that will allow me to move it around the scene. Okay. So I'm going to um, bring it in and clip it off. So I'm clipping off where those arms are going to connect. So that's what this is, is it's the, the front here. And now I'm going to go to the side and I'm going to clip down the front like this. And I'm going to pull it in just a little bit, sorry, out just a little bit because I want it to taper up. Okay. And then his back, I want to taper in. So you'll see, you'll see that faded area. Well, it's gonna it's gonna clip from the faded area to the line. So I I can either spin it around like this, or I can draw from the bottom up to get it to clip from this side. Okay, and then I'm just gonna clip this top off right here. So this is gonna go from his shoulder blade to his neck. So this is his back. 
this is his chest and then these are the sides I want to I want to narrow this just a little bit just taper it in just a little bit there we go okay now if I if I control plus drag it's gonna re dynamesh here I'll I'll Z back out of that so you can see if I hit shift F Okay, see how um, all the geometry is stuffed into this corner? And if I re dynamesh, it reevaluates it and puts it out there. Now, before I do that though, I'm going to turn polish on. I'm going to turn blur off. Okay? So you, you can see what happened there. It, it's going to keep those borders for now because I, I want to keep it nice and clean and it polished them right up. Okay? All right, so I'm gonna turn the wireframe back off. Okay, now this is the um, this is a new way I've been I've been modeling is I've been using insert brushes. Okay, and you'll find insert brushes under uh, B if you push B for brush and then you push I for insert. You'll have these. Uh, a handful of insert brushes. So like insert cube, insert cylinder, insert H cube, H cylinder, sphere, and, and H sphere. The H, what the H means is, um, I believe it's like a polysphere. So let's, um, let's grab a cube here and we're gonna zoom to the bottom and then I'm just gonna draw a cube out like this. Okay, so what happens when I do that is it's adding to the the it's adding to the mesh but it's not dynameshing it in yet i can i can manipulate it so it gave me a transpose line already right in the middle of that cube that i created and if i hit r i can rotate it into place and then i can move it down and then i want to scale it now the way scaling works in ZBrush is different than say Maya. Um, and you'll want to actually use move instead of scale. So hit W and then hold down shift and it's going to move the edges back and forth towards this dot here. If you're grabbing this dot, hold down shift and move it, it's going to use this as the axis point and scale it or move it as ZBrush likes to call it. Okay, now I, I want all these pieces to overlap because when I dynamesh, it's gonna all mesh together. Okay, now I'm gonna drag this way. I'm gonna squeeze this like this and I'm going to mask the top. If you hold down control, you can mask the top and I'm going to hold down control and tap, whoop, sorry tap there okay when you tap on the object it's going to blur the mask while you're holding control so let me do that one more time I hold down control so i'm in masking and i tap on the object that already has a mask on it it's going to blur it just like that okay now i can drag a manipulation line down here hit rotate and i can drag that that lab coat out a little bit I'm gonna drag this, let's see. I'll do that afterwards. I'll mask this off. Hit. Just a little bit, okay, that works. Now if I drag and then drag again, it's gonna dynamesh. I was holding control. If I hold control and drag, it's gonna dynamesh those together. Okay, then I'm gonna hold down shift and I'm just going to smooth these together. So I, I compare this to traditional sculpting. When you take a piece of clay and you stick it to an already existing piece of clay, then you take your finger and you rub it between the two, it's going to blend them together really nicely. And that's essentially what we're doing here is we're just using some traditional sculpting techniques to add more geometry and then blend it together. And then you can just control drag and then smooth some more. Control drag, smooth some more. Because what's happening is the polish, the polish feature of Dynamesh, it's polishing it every single time. 
So you'll see some you'll see some some things happening when you when you smooth and polish, smooth and polish, you'll see uh, little lines and stuff in here. Just use polish and, and polish them right out, or sorry, smooth, smooth them right out. So, okay, now I'm going to get my move brush and we're just going to move. I, I'm trying to get this shape here. Um, trying to decide how I want to work that out. And I think what I want to do is I want to grab the shape and push it up in so I can get this tucked under belly right here up underneath his his chest because it's really you can tell he's kind of skinny right here I really like that so I want to emphasize his skinniness and push this even more together and then smooth it down Okay, and then I'm going to narrow, going to narrow his chest quite a bit here, and then pull this down. That's another thing, like traditional sculpting, it's just it's just grabbing the clay and moving it around. Don't be afraid to to just just try stuff until it looks right. Pulling that out. Okay. Now to get this peak right here, what I want to do is hit um, H polish and I'm just going to polish that right there just a little bit and then drag it and smooth it. You'll see it start to take that, that peak shape. Okay. So that's it for blocking in the torso.